Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. So today I'm going to be trying out the new Rimmel Kynan Free range. I got the foundation and the concealer. I've been seeing this everywhere on TikTok and apparently it's really good. So let's jump straight into it. I'm just getting ready for work. Today's post notification shout out is going to go to Samantha Ramlal. Thank you so much for hitting that bell button. I really appreciate it. And if you guys want to get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so. Okay, so I've prepped my skin. My face is ready for foundation. This is what the foundation looks like and I got the shade 410 Latte. You do get the standard amount of 30ml in there. And I'm just on the Rimmel website and I'm just looking at like the amount of shades they have. 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. There's only 12 shades. So yeah, that definitely stood out to me when I was trying to colour match to myself. I think I got just about lucky with the shade. Um, but yeah, they definitely need more shades for sure. I thought it was the foundation, but then it's saying moisturizing skin tint. But I do feel like they could do with more than 12 shades still, because I I couldn't go up and I couldn't go down. I, I think I just got but I just about got lucky with this shade. Let's see, I couldn't open it either, so I don't know. And there was no testers. So this apparently is made with 100 percent vegan and kind to animals ingredients love that stuff that's simply good for you and good for the planet moisturizes and perfects the skin for a fresh healthy looking glow it's got an antioxidant complex with vitamin e pro vitamin b5 and aloe vera uh, made with 77 percent ingredients of natural origins it's lightweight it gives a dewy finish healthy glow and it's all day hydration and the packaging as well is made out of recycled materials yeah i love everything about this right now Closer so you guys can see my skin. I think I got just about lucky, guys, with the shade. Honestly, I'm just gonna blend this out with a brush. I'm not gonna use, I could use a, a sponge, but yeah, it's very lightweight. This is the kind of stuff that I like for my when I go to work, <laughs> but um, yeah, I think I definitely need more there. It doesn't really have a scent or anything and it's blending quite nicely yeah it's definitely a skin tint it's nowhere near the fenty skin tint for example because it's very light coverage because you can really see my skin through this so i'm not going to put more because i feel like i've put definitely put way more than i need but it's just really like evened out my skin but it looks like it literally looks like skin but just better really that's what it looks like but yeah you can definitely see all my scarring you can really see my skin throughout this it's just really evened out i would say and i definitely definitely got lucky with the shade i picked up two shades of the concealer because i wasn't too sure i got tan and medium i think i'm gonna try medium first i think it's a bit annoying because i did buy this in store and it's like what's the point of doing kind to the planet packaging if you're gonna wrap it up with uh plastic and i think the stores do this um to prevent people from opening them and stealing them but like it just makes it impossible to even open so this one is tan and this one's medium so i think i'm gonna go in with tan it feels like very lightweight like it's like it feels watery but let's see how this covers up i might put some on my cheeks as well to be honest still got some scarring there Oh, it feels very lightweight. That looks pretty good. It's very skin. It looks very glowy, very dewy. So let me do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. All right, guys, that's me ready for the day. And yeah, I really like the way my skin looks because it's just it just literally looks like my skin. It looks very natural. Like it barely looks like I've got any makeup on. It is giving me no makeup makeup vibes. Um, I can still see my scarring, my pigmentation through, but it's just overall evened out. I definitely get more coverage out of the Fenty skin tint. There's none coming to my mind right now, but like my go-to skin tint gives me more coverage. My NARS um, tinted uh, moisturizer gives more coverage. 
um, but yeah, I think I, I I I really like the shade. I really like the way this looks on me, and then also the concealer. As I was putting mascara on, I'm already seeing some creasing. I did set it and everything, but yeah, I can see some like creasing, like major creasing under my eyes right now. So let's see how this looks throughout the day. I'm going to be wearing this for a long time because it is 6:30 a.m. <laughs> and I won't be get back until like probably six seven ish so good 12 hours i would say so we'll see what i look like at the end of the day i don't know but with my concealers i do like a bit of like coverage and thickness to it i also feel like it's very very dewy like i set my whole face with powder because it was looking very wet um so if you prefer more of a matte finish or you've got oily skin i don't know how this would work on oily skin to be honest but I would say definitely use a mattifying primer and powder i guess but yeah so far so good i really like it. it's very me so if you're looking for some coverage this probably isn't for you uh but i do like the message behind the product and what they've done with it i feel like this is something you bring on holiday with you i don't know but i like products like this like light quick for work too so this is just perfect so far and yeah i'm gonna head out well i'm not gonna head out right now i'm gonna have a little quick brekkie <laughs> and um yeah I'll, i guess i'll see you guys this evening after a very long day because i feel like today's gonna be a long day but it's gonna be a good day it doesn't even look like i'm wearing anything to be honest okay all right guys i'm back and it is just 8 p.m it's 7:50. I'm just looking at my skin and it actually doesn't look too bad. It just looks like my skin but better. This foundation is very light. It's very minimal and it's very glowy. So if you like all those things, then I think this would be for you. I would definitely pick up this foundation again or the skin tint. I know I keep calling it a foundation. But I'm not too sure about the concealer. Like this, there's, there's some creasing and I don't know, like it does a job but it's just not doing enough for me so i don't know if i would use it again but i definitely like the skin tint i just i just feel like i would i need a bit more coverage but yeah overall considering the price it was very affordable for the skin tint and the shade range i would give this like a 7 out of 10 like it's good but i'm not like wowed um and the concealer for me honestly it's like a five out of ten there's a lot of creasing going on but yeah as you can see overall my makeup looks pretty good but i didn't put any highlight or anything that's like the skin tint because that's the only place i didn't put a powder i put powder everywhere else can you see the creasing like it's like gathered in there so yeah those are my thoughts on the skin tint and the concealer I'm uh, really glad that I got to try it. You guys know I like discovering new drugstore products. I could even give this an 8 out of 10 just because of like how they try to be good with it. You know, good to the planet, good to ourselves. You know, I like it, but it's very light. <laughs> I do like a little bit of coverage when it comes to base products. Um, but you know, this in summer, of like if you're going to the beach, this is something I would reach for. Because it's very light, but it just puts your skin together and makes it look even. So yeah, I hope you found this review helpful. Make sure to subscribe so you can join the family. Give this video a like and I will see you in my next video. Bye.